june twenty first saint aloysius gonzaga patron saint of youth aloysius gonzaga or luigi gonzaga born fifteen sixty eight died fifteen ninety one gave up a privileged life and a princely inheritance to live the vows of religious life even to the point of contacting the plague because of his selfless care for people already sick with it he was the eldest son of the marquis de castiglione and heir to the family title the gonzagas were known as patrons of renaissance artists and they ruled what amounted to a kingdom as early as age seven he became attracted to prayer and turned away from the courtly life around him the young gonzaga withdrew from this world and became firm in his desire to never offend god by sinning he also began a life of daily prayer and later started meditating after he discovered a prayer book written by the jesuit peter canisius his piety included daily mass weekly communion and fasting three days a week plague and famine struck italy one year and gonzaga threw himself into caring for the victims of the plague he begged alms for the sick and physically carried those he found in the streets to a hospital where he washed and fed them and prepared them for the sacraments he told his spiritual director robert bellarmine who would later be recognized as a saint himself that he had a premonition he would die soon gonzaga contacted the plague when he cared for a man who had it the young jesuit put himself to bed on march third fifteen ninety one he knew he was dying and asked to receive communion two jesuits watched him through the night and saw his face change as he held on to a cross and called the name of jesus he was only twenty-three when he died his body is now kept in the church of saint ignatius in rome he was canonized in the year seventeen twenty six saint cardinal bellarmine the saint's confessor testified that aloysius had never mortally offended god yet he chastised his body rigorously rose at night to pray and shed many tears for his sins pray that not having followed his innocence you and i may yet imitate his penance